Hi, my name is Deborah, and I'm here to talk about the Starbucks incident that I had just recently during the coronavirus. Well, it was after everything got shut down in Rochester. I live in Michigan. And because of the coronavirus, we had the um, lockdown of everything. I live about a mile from, not quite a mile from Starbucks. It was a cold morning and I decided I was gonna walk to Starbucks instead of drive. So I took my two dogs and I walked up there. I walked across busy roads and I walked into their parking lot and I stood until it was my time to order in front of their drive through order. At that point, when I got up there, the girl said to me, I can't take your order. And I said to her, you're joking, right? And she says, no, we're not allowed to serve walk up people. I said, why not? And she says, because you might get hit by a car. And I said to her, the chances of me getting hit by a car I'm standing at your window, now getting hit by a car are very slim. I said, the car is stopped in behind me, the car is stopped in front of me. And I said, I'm kind of off to the side. And she says, we can't serve you, it's our policy. And I said, the inside of your restaurant is closed. I can't come in. And she offered me no other option. And um, I, I told her, I said something to her about, there's nothing that says you can't, you will not serve walk up customers. I said, I've walked through your parking lot. I've come here to this little kiosk to order my drink and you won't serve me now. And she said, no, it's our policy. So at that time, I just, I, I left. I walked back home and that's when in walking back home, I decided to contact Starbucks. I um, tried to get, I did call that Starbucks and they said their manager was not there, but it was their manager's policy. And um, I said, oh, but first I called a, um, a 1-800 Starbucks headquarters or whatever it was. And I explained what happened. And the person that I was talking to had no uh, such policy and knew of no such policy. So it had to be an individual policy per Starbucks. So I explained to this person on the phone, I said, if you have a policy like that, and you don't serve walk up customers, then you need to have your policy posted before I walk through the parking lot. I said, I had, and I t explained to him, I said, I have a better chance of being hit by a car walking here than I do in your parking lot. I said, cars are stopped. She, the person that I talked to in the little kiosk that takes your order, she said, we have speeding cars. And I said, nobody is speeding here in this parking lot because of the way the parking lot is built. And so the gentleman on the phone said he would give me $10 on my Starbucks card um, and have someone contact me. I hung up the phone from him and then I called the Starbucks that I went to and asked to speak to the manager. The manager was not there and she was familiar with me being there just a few minutes ago. And she said, I said, there is no such policy at Starbucks. And I said, if you have this policy, you need to post it. I said, I walked there, I was cold, it was a mile, I had my dogs, you offered me no other solutions. And I said, you know, so I was a little bit upset. I said, I will not come back to that Starbucks. So anyway, she said she would talk to her manager and have her manager call me, which never happened. And then the 
um, when I had talked to the other Starbucks person, they said they would have the district manager call me, which did not happen. Someone did call me. I'm not quite sure who it was now. It's been a bit of a while, but, and they offered me $6 back on my Starbucks gold card. Cause I've been a member at Starbucks from with a gold card now for many, many years. So they offered me $6 and then someone else called me and offered me $15. So I got a total of $31 back on my gold card from them. And I just, I was, nobody offered me an apology. And if that is their policy, then they need to post it and they need to post it where people can see it before you walk into their parking lot. It just didn't make a whole lot of sense what they were doing and what they said to me. She should have said to me, the, the barista should have said to me, I, I will take your drink and please stand by the door. I will bring your drink to the door for you. Just because we don't want you walking where the car, and I'm, but nobody offered that option to me. I think the whole thing was just uh, rude and um not well thought out and you know for goodness sakes i can see this if it had if it was a regular thing and it was a busy day but we've got the coronavirus going on all of rochester is closed down starbucks is lucky they're in business right now because of consumers like me and because they have a drive through and so that day i wouldn't you know, if, it, if I could have walked inside, I might have tied the dogs up and said, wait for a minute. I'm going to throw my order in here and I'll be right back out. But that was not an option. So I it just the whole thing. I'm thinking, you know, cut, give me a break. It's there's bigger things in this world going on right now, like the coronavirus. Lighten up. So and it, there was there was no giving on this girl because I asked her a couple of times. I said. I'm not going to get hit by a car. I'm watching the guy behind me. He's watching me. And um, so it was just the whole thing just after a while just disgusted me.